Zadi ke bodo 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 ke bada ke da kada badi kaki de bodo bada ka. Dika bodo ke de bada ke da kada maku ka ke da ke da bada ka. Zoko bodo bodo de de bada ke de. Dike bada ku de ke de bada ke ka ke da bada kaki da kada badi. Zaka badi ka ko ka ke da bodo ke ka ke da badi. Zade ka ko da bada ka ke de. Dika baku ka ke de boko bodo bada ke da. Kadabadika, dike deke deke de bodo bodo kabadaka, deke dabakuda, kidi kade boko kakeda, zaka badaki deke de bodo badi, dako badake da kadi kadi kadabaku kede. Zeka di bodo bodo bodo, dike deke da badakida, zaka bodo ko bodo, dike kabadako ke de kade kabadako di kabada, di de di boko kakuda ke da boda kakida, zaka badaku de ke de bodo bodo ko badida, zadi bado kakuda kadi bakoka, ke de ke de kadabadi, zadabadi kako ke de badako de, deke bakuka de da bada, zida boko ke de bodo badi kadaba kuda ke de ke de boko bada kadida bado kuda za kadaba kode kidi bada koka ke da badi da za kadaba da kadi boko ke de bodo bada kadida badi Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise. We worship you, King of Glory. We thank you for a time like this. We thank you for what you are set to do in our midst this morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your word that never changed. We thank you for your word that never failed. We give you all the praise. We magnify you, King of glory. May your name alone be praised. I commit, O oh God, the word into your hand. I pray that you breathe upon your word. I pray that you use your word for us this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, ancient of days, I submit myself, Lord, to your power. I yield myself to your power. I pray that you take over my lips. In the name of Jesus, let your word come with power. Let your word come with deliverance. Let your word come with healing. Let your word come with salvation of souls. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, King of glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Depending on your location, the Lord bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining our breakthrough service this morning. The Lord will bless you richly. I pray that God will give you undeniable miracle this morning in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, hallelujah. For those of you that are joining us on Facebook Live, the Lord will increase your nose heart and he will continually make his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus. This morning I have a topic before me that says undeniable miracle, undeniable miracle. I will be taking our test Anchor test from the book of Psalms 126, verse 1 and 2. Psalms 126, verse 1 and 2. Psalms 126, verse 1 and 2. And the Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said, we were like them that dream. He said, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. Hallelujah. That will be someone's testimony this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I said that will be someone's testimony in the name of Jesus. The Lord had done great things for them. And that is what the enemy of the people of God are going to say after this service to everyone under the unction of my voice that the Lord has done great things for them. Miracles that cannot be denied. Miracles that cannot be hidden. Miracles that people cannot question. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The passage explains to all that there is no help from any man that can last long, but all help come from God. It is only God that can deliver to us, undeniable miracles. There is no man that can do it, hallelujah. I want us this morning to stop at the blame game. Don't feel my uncle refused to help me. That is where, where I'm, where I am. 
my auntie has refused to help me, my brother has refused to help me, my sister has refused to help me. Your help is in the hand of the Lord. There is no man that can help you unless God has troubled their heart to do so. They might be the same parents with you until God troubled their hearts. They will not be able to help you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Victory is only achieved by God. It is not achieved through men. God can use men, but it is last in the hands. It depends and it lies in the hands of the almighty God. God can only give you victory, but he's going to use men and women. Hallelujah. So that is why I said it's, he has the key to that undeniable miracle. We are going to be looking at the scripture this morning of characters in the Bible who had gone through so many delays, who had gone through so many trials and tribulations, but when God remembered them, they were like them that dream. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter how long you have stayed in that your Zion. Remember the people of Zion in this scripture that we have read. Can imagine how long they have stayed? A great city of kings. How long they have been in captivity. They were in captivity for a very long time. Just a moment when God stepped in and overturned the whole situation. They were like them. It was like a dream to them. Like someone would say, oh, if this is a dream, let me go back to that let me go back to sleep again. I want this to be played back. Hallelujah. And that is what God is said to do in the life of someone under the unction of my voice this morning in the name of Jesus. The people who were once held captive got their deliverance just in the blink of an hour. The beautiful things about our God is that when he steps into a situation, it is no longer about what, whether he would be able to do it, but because we are rest assured that he's able to do all things. He is the almighty God. He is the all-sufficient king. He is our sovereign God. He has power that is immensurable. So when God steps into that situation of yours this morning, that marital situation, that spiritual situation, that's challenge in your head if God steps in this morning and gives you a brand new organs that people can actually tell and say, yes, this is the handiwork of the Lord, a miracle that is undeniable, that even your doctors who do not believe in Jesus, they will give their life to Christ. I remember a sister said, shared a testimony, said when she, she, she had a tumor in the brain, that the doctors were like, there's nothing they can do. And he told them, I have a God who is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Every other person who went, who underwent that same operation, they all died, but she survived. And the doctor who operated on her, as a result of this great testimony, gave his life to Christ. Hallelujah. These are undeniable testimony. Testimony that will turn men to Jesus. Testimony that will shut the mouth of your enemy. Those that are mock you before testimony that will cause them to begin to celebrate you. Hallelujah. Immeasurable. God has power that is immeasurable. You cannot measure the power of God. Every other God, they are man-made God. They have power. They have eyes they cannot see. They have eyes they cannot see. They have hands they cannot feel. But our God is a God that is living. It's a God that is able to turn situations around. It's a God that will pick you from where men has given up on you. Hallelujah. I remember I met a man in 2015, and he said to me, the doctor gave me six months to leave because I had cancer. He said, look at me now. After that time, I gave birth to a baby girl, and the girl as at 2015, was 18 year old. And she was in the university as at that time. And the man was so happy and excited. He said, who could have done this for me if not God? Hallelujah. The doctors were surprised. These are undeniable. They are proofs. They are evidence. Something that you can see. You don't need anybody to tell you. 
These are live testimony. People are giving testimony of themselves. These are no manipulations. Hallelujah. Because our God is able to do all things. Hallelujah. If you take a look at the scripture you saw in the book of Genesis chapter 11, verse 30. Genesis chapter 11, verse 30. Let's look at the scripture and see what God, what the scripture is saying there. Genesis 11, verse 30. Hallelujah. Our God is a great God. He does things that are immeasurable. He does miracles without numbers. He is the God that is so faithful. Genesis 11, verse 30. Praise the Lord. The Bible said, but Sarah was barren. She had no child. You see, you can imagine how long Sarah had been held in captivity of barrenness. But when God stepped in, she became the model of a child. Genesis 21, verse 1 to 2. Genesis 21, verse 1 to 2. She became a model of children. The Bible said, and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Verse 2. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God has spoken to him. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter what man has given you. It doesn't matter the name that man has called you. Men have said it's no longer possible. You have passed the age of menopause. You have passed the age of getting married. You have passed the age of going to school. You cannot own a business of yours anymore. I want to tell you this morning that our God is a God that is timely. He has a purpose and a plan for you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the Bible says, I know the plan I have to as you say, thought of good and not of evil for you to have a future. The plan of God for you, brethren, is for you to make it in love. The plan of God for you is for you to have children. Look at the issue of Sarah. At the appointed time, someone who was written off by man because by medicine is no longer possible at that age. But God turned off at the word that the Lord has spoken, the Lord brought it to pass. Has God spoken concerning you? in any area of your life, in any aspect of your life, my brother, my sister, I want you to trust God this morning. The Lord is going to bring you to pass in the name of Jesus. Every word of promise that God has spoken to you, every revelation that you have had in the past, so many of you, you've had dreams in the past, and yet you cannot see that manifestation coming. I want to bring you good news that the set time to favor Zion is now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She whom the word has written of that nothing good can could ever come out of her now became one that people gathered to celebrate. People celebrated Sarah. And her story is what every one of us is talking about today. In our time, even in those days, at her age, she's completely written of. It's a writer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, but God turned up and turned her story to a celebration. The Lord is going to turn your story to celebration this morning Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of 1 Samuel 1, verse 1 to 8, we might not be able to read that because it's very long. How Hannah, God visited Hannah. Hannah, she was in pain on a daily basis. She was a pain, she was in anguish, but on a faithful day, the Lord remembered Hannah. So God is going to remember so many Hannah in the house today. When we talk about Hannah in this instance, I'm not only referring for, to those that are trusting God for children. You might be believing God for, for good health. You might be believing God for favor, financial increase, numerical increase in your ministry. You need God to help you. You need God to come in. You need God to come and remember you. People are said to you, oh, ye prophet, help yourself. Hallelujah. There are so many men of God today that people are mocking, but they don't know that they are mocking God. If you are saying so, if you see a man of God and in your heart, you despise them. You say, help yourself, ye man of God, before you can help me. I want to trust God that today, by the reason of this ministration, as many that are in this category, that men have mocked, that men have despised, that men has written up, 
Has someone told you as a man that you are a woman? Has people told you as a woman that you are a man? This has happened in so many families. When children are yet to come, families begin to say all manner of things. Friends begin to say all manner of things. They say to the man, you, you are marrying a man like you. They say to the woman, you are marrying a woman like you. But I want to tell you good news this morning. God is going to mock them. Everyone that has mocked you, they will come back to celebrate with you. Everyone that has mocked you, that have laughed you, that have laughed at you, they have taken your name everywhere. Your name is the topic of discussion on a daily basis, not for good, for castigation, but for them to just mock you. I tell you today, the power of God is going to visit you wherever you may be. And God that delivered Hannah, the Lord that delivered Sarah is going to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. In the book of Luke 1 verse 7, you remember Elizabeth. Elizabeth, God visited Elizabeth. And he gave birth to our great prophet of today, John the Baptist. Hallelujah. Elizabeth waited, and God visited her. God remembered Elizabeth. The Bible said, and they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now were stricken in years. The husband was also stricken in years. They were advanced in age. They were not thinking of having any, any child anymore, but God remembered them. Undeniable miracle. A miracle that cannot be hidden. You can't hide it. It will be a talk of the town. It will be a story that everyone, paparazzo, will carry them. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to make you that number one uh, candidate for that miracle this morning Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. These were heard, they were all held in captivity of the spirit of barrenness as well. But just when God remembered them and come to their aid, their story changed. It was as though that they were dreaming because no one expected that something good could still come out of their lives. No situation is beyond God's repair, my brethren. I want you to trust God this morning. God is about to visit you. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Job 9, verse 10, the Bible says, which, which doeth great things, past finding out, yea, and wonders without number. We have a God who does wonders without numbers. All that the Lord had done in the past for other people, all that God has done in the past in the scripture, the Lord is going to repeat them in your life this morning Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What God has done for someone before in the life of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Joseph, Diana, Hannah, Sarah, Elizabeth, in the Bible, God is going to replicate that in your life mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. I want mm -hmm. us to pray this morning. I want you to pray like you have never prayed before and call on our God who is able to do all things that this miracle that is undeniable that the Lord should bring them to physical manifestation. Yeah. You're going to cry to God and say, my father, my father, my oh Lord, give me an undeniable testimony. Yeah. Daddy, give me an evidence, Lord. Yeah. Daddy, yeah. give me proof that people yeah. can see. Yeah. Daddy, I want to carry that miracle in my hand. Yeah. I want to feel that miracle. Yeah. I want to see it. I am tired of seeing it spiritually in the yeah, dream. Absolutely. I want to carry them physically. Yeah, I want to carry them physically. Yeah, I want to carry them physically. Lord, I want to carry the miracle. I want to feel it. I want to feel it. I want to touch it. I want to have it, Lord. I want to enjoy it. I want to dwell in it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise in your mission. Daddy, arise as I begin to pray now. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord, give me undeniable miracle. Undeniable miracle. Daddy, a miracle with evidence. A miracle that people cannot contest. Oh, Bakoza Dake Daba Dakodi Kaki Daba Dakeda. Lord, I pray to you right now concerning everyone under the unction of my voice. I pray that you give them undeniable miracle. Daddy, you give them undeniable miracle. Daddy, a testimony will prove that all men will see and they will turn their heart to you. Lord, arise, O 
God show your people mercy. Everyone under the unction of my voice. Everyone under the unction of my voice. Daddy, arise, Lord, give them undeniable miracle. Undeniable miracle. Undeniable miracle. Your word said in the book of 1 Samuel 3, verse 11. You say, and the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both the ears of everyone that hear it, it shall tingle. Oh, Father, that miracle that will cause the ear of men to tingle. That miracle that will cause the ear of men to tingle. That the law undeniable miracle. Let it begin to happen in the life of these ones right now. Oh, Bakoza de Kadabadi, Akozo de Kadibakoka, Zeke da Bodo Kobodo Kobadi. Every, everyone under the unction of my voice right now, the angel of God is going to be moving from one location to the other. The angel of the Lord is moving from one house to another, from one nation to another. The angel of God visiting one situation or another. Zika ko kabadi dake kade badakuda zakaba di kakode kede boko kede kadaba dako di kabada zeka di bodo ko kede kadaba zadi kabado di kake de kede 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 boko badakadiba zadiba doko ke kede kadaba doka di kaboko ka de kede kede bodo bodo ko badi zaka badaka di kake de bodo bodo ko badakadaba de kadi kabada Kudeke deke 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 de boko bodo bada kidi kadaba zodi kako ke deke de bado kake da kadi bodo badika dako da badika zidi ke bodo kobade kake da kadi bodo badika kida zaka bada kade ke deke deke de bodo baki da koda kadi kabada kodo di di ke ke deke de bodo bada dako di kabada koka ke deke deke de bodo bada ka zodi Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If you are here, you are not born again, brethren. It is a very difficult position to be. You will just be like an animal in the hands of the devil, a prey. You know, when someone is condemned to death, go to... Um, um, go to if you go to the prison today, those that are condemned to death, they are giving their best thing, whatever they ask for is given to them. And that is how someone is in the hand of the devil because they know they will be executed at some point. Whatever they give them, they give them the best clothes, they give them the best food. That's for nations who have capital punishment. They give them whatsoever, but they are still going to execute them. And that is how a man is in the hand of the devil when you are not born again. Before we take the last prayer point, if you are here this morning, you are not born again, I want you to say this prayer after me. This is the best decision you will ever take in your life. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you, thank you for the privilege to hear your word this morning. In every area that I've seen against you in the past, I have realized that you are the only one that can help me and deliver me and give me victory. Oh, Father, forgive my sin. Daddy, write my name in the book of life. Delete my name from the book of hell. Give me the power to sin no more. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. If you have just prayed that prayer, I want to encourage you by faith. You are born again now. Look for a Bible-believing church around you and begin to fellowship with brethren. Paraventure, you are in London and its environment. You like to fellowship with us? We are happy to have you among us. Then send us an email. We'll look for how to get you to fellowship with us in the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray. I want you to cry to God because God is going to bring you out of affliction this morning. The Bible said that affliction makes a wise man mad. For you to know that affliction is not a good thing. You're going to cry to God and say, my father, my father, oh Lord, I am your child, oh God. Bring me out of affliction in the name of Jesus. Lord, I am your child. Bring me out of affliction. Daddy, bring me out of affliction. You are my father. I am your child. The Bible said, if your earthly father know how to give you good gift, how much more you, my heavenly father. Daddy, 
I am your child. Daddy, I am your child. Bring me out of affliction. Bring my wife out of affliction. Bring my children out of affliction. Bring my nation out of affliction. Daddy, Lord, give us undeniable miracle. Daddy, bring us out of affliction today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, bring us out of affliction. Bakoza kadabadi kakeda. Everyone, oh God, that is crying out to you right now under the unction of my word. I pray, Lord, bring them out of affliction. Daddy, 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 bring them out of affliction. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, every form of affliction. The Bible said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. He said, but the Lord delivered them in all. Daddy, bring them out of affliction. Everyone under the influence, oh God of my voice. Oh, Bakazada Badoko, Didi Kabade, Zike Bokoke de Badakida Kadabada Kude, Zake Dako Bade Kake Dakadibo do Bodoko Badida, every affliction of rising and falling, every affliction of delay, every affliction of unfruitfulness, every affliction of poverty, every affliction of singleness, every affliction of God of back for them, every affliction of God of sickness and disease. Oh, Father, bring your people out of affliction. In the name of Jesus, Lord, bring us out of affliction. Daddy, Lord, we are tired of the valley. Daddy, take us to the mountaintop. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise. Bring God out of, of affliction. Daddy, bring your people out of affliction. Daddy, bring us out of affliction. Daddy, bring us out of affliction. Daddy, bring God out of affliction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We have prayed. Amen. I want you to lift up your hand as I pray for you in rounding up. Hallelujah. Merciful God, I just want to say thank you. thank you. Thank you for your children all over the world around this service and those that are going to play this broadcast afterward. I pray heavily, Father, that in the name that is above every other name, you bring them out of every form of affliction in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, your word said in the book of Psalm 50, verse 15, say, call unto me in the Amen. day of trouble. He said, I will deliver you and you will glorify my name. Oh, Father, Lord, I stand as your oracle and I declare this morning that you give them undeniable miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. That they give them undeniable miracle. That the miracle we prove. That the miracle that they will feel. That the miracle that they will enjoy. That the miracle that is sustainable. That the every good thing, oh God, and beautiful thing can only come from you. That they, oh God, give them, oh God, undeniable miracle this morning. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of glory. You, May your name alone be praised. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy is following me all the days of my life, and I dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God loves you, and I love you too. Until I see you again, have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. Bye-bye for now. Bye.